Look, I mean, look at his look. I mean, Washington's in the secret society with our mom, but whatever you want. Uh, I'm just, like, interested in this guy's look. And I also feel bad because he's like, do you guys want to have dinner? And everyone's like, no. <laughs> I mean, he's a French aristocrat. I don't feel bad for him in any way <laughs> at all. He's an aristocrat. Yeah, but look how hard he's trying. He's got so much. He put makeup on. Just feel bad that, like, we invited us to his home and nobody wants to eat with him. It's not his house. Oh, whose house is it's it? It's Mortimer's then? house. Oh, then never mind. Let's see what Washington has to say. Sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. Louis, thank you for staying. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry. Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. That's why if we I told that other guy. In any way yeah. at all, <laughs> please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, Now's the time. And Tell you, Emily. Yeah. What do you think of my mother? I only know her through the Order. The one time we met, we only exchanged a few words in a corridor of Parliament. And was the exchange courteous or impassioned? I'm not sure if I understand. Was there any reason for her to be angry with you? Under other circumstances, I would slap your face for even asking. But I'll put your lack of tact down to her disappearance. Know that your mother is a woman I would love to work with. Her reputation is entirely deserved. Mr. Washington will be able to tell you more. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. Where did you first meet her? I met Sarah during the War of Independence on American soil. She was introduced to me by a mutual acquaintance, and I must say that her sound advice prevented me from making some terrible mistakes. She may not be a soldier, but believe me, she deserves a statue as much as Lafayette does. <sighs> well, I didn't see that one coming. There's no doubt Mother has many secrets that are still hidden. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? My mother has always been fascinated by strange powers. Did she talk to you about anything like that? Yes. Her facility for discerning truths from rumor served me well. Such as preventing massacres, like the one at Salem, from happening again. Or convincing people that horsemen cannot ride around without heads. <laughs> what was it that she used to say now? Keep an open and logical mind? Yes, that's it. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information, thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. Mother still is at the head of the Golden Order. I find it difficult to believe that she came to this island without notifying the other members. As for myself, I did not know. I am here at the request of Sir Holm, a situation regarding the Crown of England to resolve, and to see what Lord Mortimer has to propose to us. As for me... Lord Mortimer asked me here to speak about the future of America. I did not know that your mother would even be among us. In any case, no one has yet mentioned associating the Order. We haven't found many clues yet. Hmm. Don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Yes, I, I hope not. Careful, they're coming back. Cool look. Yeah. 
Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you Excuse me, sir? By that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding Whoa. pieces. <laughs> so, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Quick! Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Hmm. Washington looks surprised, but Holmes doesn't seem to see it. I wonder if he's being polite or if he really doesn't see his discomfort. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. This is totally like Clue. This is like a really like, I don't know, hoity-toity international Clue. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, your eminence, Duchess. I don't think that guy's really a servant. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Maybe he's Mortimer. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, maybe Mortimer's just well, trying to see friends, how people act. I mm -hmm. am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Uh, I think we are at the end of the hall, right? Probably. How are you doing? Did you need a break? Uh, I'm just trying to power through this, because, uh... Je suis Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon! Sir Jacques Perru? It's like historical figure clue. Yeah. A few leaves out of an old encyclopedia. Golden elixir cures all your negative alterations. You cannot carry more than five. Well, we should be looking at the art and stuff. Might be. The quorum guide. Ooh. I am expecting us to come across like just rows and rows of chairs, like that, or an echo or something. That one painting that they showed in the background, he said he has peculiar taste. It's a very famous painting of like one of the Titans eating their children or, or something like that. Like they had a reason to eat the kid, but it was still weird. They had a reason. <laughs> Devil's Thorn grants you the exalted state. You temporarily see the immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice in a conversation. Where's our room? Just down the hall. I think we're at the end of the hall. Monsieur Johann von Wunder. Um. Ah. Oh, it doesn't mark where we well, are. Well, but yeah, it's it's a circle though, so at some point. Yeah, that's how my mom used to handle being lost because she grew up in Hawaii, so. She lived on an island, so if she ever got lost, nothing was more than a 45-minute drive away. Yeah. She could just go in a circle. And so now she's really bad at navigating her life. 
<laughs> and she'd be like, I'm lost. And, and she, like, because she used to just be like, I'll just keep driving. I'll be home in an hour, no matter where I am. Yeah. President George Washington. And my mom never learned how to swim. She lives on an island. How do you never learn how to swim? She just never did it. Weird. I know. I'm like, what'd you do at the beach? Oh, I just sat on the side. How? Huh. How do you live your whole in child childhood? What and about shit? that room in the left? Great, honey. Nope. Go to your room. Tell me where it is. That's the his eminence Cardo Piaggi. Okay. Huh, that's me. There we go. Let me in. Ooh. Look at that finger going into Jesus' chest Ooh. over there. It's high time I hit the hay. Wow. Nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. Is that Jesus? What? A lot of people paint Jesus because like they stabbed him in the ribs uh-huh and so like when he became resurrected he was like no it's really me look i have this wound in my chest and people stuck their fingers in it oh to be like oh yep he's a zombie mm. carmelite water your next skill use will cost no more effort you cannot carry more than five so let's look at this art Judith beheading Holofernes. Ironic in a way. Look up. When you know that the artist no, this is the represented one himself no. as Judith beheading the winter who had raped her. No, because this one no, explains that's, the next one. That's, that's Judith, Judith beheading, beheading Holofernes. Holofernes. Ironic in a way. I'm familiar you know with the, the painting. The artist represented oh. himself as Judith beheading her mentor who had raped her. Yeah. Good. That was painted by... Uh, Fuck, what Wait, is... Stacy, you know a lot of information about two women cutting off a man's head, the painting? Yeah. That's that's a painting that you would know all about? Yeah. I'm shocked and I would never have guessed. <laughs> I never would have guessed that one of your favorite paintings would be two women chopping off a man's head. <laughs> he raped Saint her. Jerome and the angel. So, I mean... I mean, he, he had, had it coming. He had it coming. Undertones with he had, he it, had it coming. Voices. Did it, did it, did it. That's what was that song? not how that goes. Yeah, it is. No, it's he had it coming. He had it coming. He only had himself to blame. If you'd have been there, if you'd have seen it, I bet you, you would have done the same. Oh, I only watched the Todrick Hall version, so it might have, the intonation might have been different. I, I would think so, yes. <laughs> oh, people probably didn't hear this. St. Jerome and the Angel. Yet again. Art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. I wouldn't like to be his son. Oh yeah, that was the weird reason. The conversion of St. Paul by Caravaggio. It's you know, incredible. It doesn't look like a copy, but I was sure the original was in Rome. I feel like in a lot of God origin stories that I've read through time it's always like you know dad pre-god dad and mom they have babies and like for some reason he just feels like he needs to eat the kids and then one of them's like hey that's not cool and then he cuts open his dad and lets out his brothers and sisters i feel like that happens in a few religions that i've read i think hinduism greek roman and some other pantheons it's always like yep dad ate us what are you going to do? Maybe it's because in ancient times, men hated their children and they wished that they could kill them. Oh. And so all the creation myths have to do with killing their children. Is that different now? <laughs> I'm just saying. By the way, guys, when we make dark jokes about, like, killing men and babies and stuff, like, we don't really believe that. Just yeah. We tell a lot of those dark... are Those are just jokes. We don't really want to kill men or anything. Men are great. Yeah. Babies, mm, they're okay. They're all right. Saint Francis of Assisi in ecstasy, before superior voices. It always amuses me to see how art gets used for propaganda purposes. Isn't that weird? so? Um, yeah. Well, I mean, we tell dark jokes about a lot of stuff too. It's like, I know, but sometimes I feel like men can be a little sensitive about. 
that. I get messages being like, I'm a man. Do you just want me to die? And sometimes I just want to be like, yeah, if you're going to act like that. Honestly, though, like, if a male Let's Player joked about wanting to kill women, I don't think I would take it very well, so Yeah, I, that's why I was saying it was a, you yeah. know. Wait, no. Not if he was saying it as a joke like, haha, I want to kill women in my basement. It'd be like a dark joke. I would think it's funny. I'd be like, wow, relatable. We could kill people together. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer's giving to his guests. Very jolly. We got some books out here. Oh, yeah, someone said the burping was annoying. Sorry. Well, yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be so bad if, like, you edited it out, but you don't. <laughs> no. Oh, a little lemon tree. That's nice. That looks like a short bed. No. You're just tall. Hmm. I mean, it might have been forced perspective, too. Did not find any clues about my mother on the docks. I did not convince Piaggi to trust me with the letter. I didn't pick up- No, I found clues about my mother on the docks. I did not find all the clues about oh, my mother okay. on the docks. I could have joined blah. I could have made an unexpected encounter. Hmm. Okay. Equipping manuscripts. Here you can choose what to read during the adventure. Each manuscript you read confers skill points at the end of the quest. So let's read a couple things. Oh, we can get skill points in. Oh yeah, we only got, we can only do one, see? See, manuscripts to equip zero. Servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of Durache's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. Napoleon. Ugh. One last move? Oh, rude. Oh. Very rude. Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come. Take a seat, my friend. So I assume we're having, like, some sort of vision, right? I think yeah. we're able to like see a little nighttime stroll, hmm. Mr. President. 
There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. These quigs are quite amusing. <gasps> the weird brown goo's coming out of you again. I think it's supposed to be a nosebleed. That I know, because I made a joke. Because <laughs> it's, it's being weird. <laughs> Give me a sec, I gotta read everything. Ooh, Ooh circle shaped Dear key. Monsieur Richer, please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. However, rest assured that we are doing all we can to resolve the case that concerns us. By the way, enclosed, you will find a key that will enable you to retrieve the personal effects your mother left behind. Yours faithfully, Lord William Mortimer. So I assume that's to find her belongings. No, I hate it. <laughs> the incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on but doesn't touch. <laughs> what a dork! Weird. <laughs> He's so, like, actually, in the Bible, it says Thomas looks on but doesn't touch. I think that someone was knocking on our door. I know, but that's over now. I wanted to touch stuff. Excuse me. Am I bothering you? No. No, not in the least. Is something wrong? I'm going to need your help. Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? Yes. Elizabeth Adams. Home introduced her to us. Yes. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens! <laughs> I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. That's and why get my hands on some important information. We had the vision of I her being so. dead because Elizabeth she did is die. In a small salon. If you hurry, you can still That was catch the Duchess. Her. I oh, just need damn 10 it. minutes. But if my Who are we talking true, about? There are two men nearby discussing very important issues and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. No, I want to know what's going on with the ghost. Sorry. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. So Come he's me, talking sir. about the woman that we Thank saw you, walking up. Oh. Downstairs as Zombie lady? As she must not return to her room. Trust me. Trust me, I'm in the secret order. <laughs> Trust me, I'm really good at this. I'm really good at keeping secrets. I better hurry. For example, my mom told me to never let anyone know about the, her rash on her butt, and I never told anyone. 